Hi there, this is Kathy Crow. Um, this is the Crow Cottage. And today I am gonna make um, a cute little penguin clip holder. And I, I found at Target um, these little clips. You can go down to Target. They're probably at other places too, so um, don't be limited just to Target. But I'm sure they have it, them at Walmart and, uh, well, wherever. Anyhow, they're cute little clips. They were three for a dollar. So um, I already had planned to do this little clip, but that that big clip's gonna work really nicely on the project that we're gonna do today. So I hope you have a chance to uh, share this video. Everybody who shares gets to win a prize if you win the drawing. <laughs> I take, a, take a, all the names from people who share this video or, or share my page or share a project uh, anytime you share you get entered in and then on Friday I'll draw it and last week because I I just I didn't get around to it but I did find these cute little um, stickers that I think your grandkids will really like if your grandkids are too sophisticated for Charlie Brown I love these these are like the best ever but I'm a big kid and other people don't. So if your grandkids are too big for them, neighborhood kids, kids at church are a really good place to, to give your your little projects to. And really any place that you want kids to behave better, having a little sneaky reward you whip out and surprise them with the kids who are being really good can sometimes help other kids be good too. We'll, we'll just see if that happens for you. I've had limited success with it, so so good luck. I'm going to try to find this video online. I'm going to scroll down this time so I can actually see comments because what happens is I, I just check to make sure that my, <laughs> my camera is focused on the desk where we're going to be working and then, uh, then it doesn't show me the comments below. So today I'm going to do better so I can see comments when they come. So uh, Dan... And my aunt Connie are going to get these stickers, but make sure you share. You'll get a chance to do something good. I'm not sure what will be next time. So I'm going to swing my camera around and show you my project. So um, watch out. Here we go. And we'll see if I can get my, my page centered the way I want to. I did get another light and it still looks kind of dark over here, but this is as light as it's going to get. So I'm not gonna, going to worry about it being any darker than, or lighter than this. Okay, it looks like you can see it pretty good. Um, now, let's see. I did need to run through some workshop information, but I'm gonna just stick this up here and keep blabbing about that as, as I go. So this weekend is my last Christmas workshop. We're gonna make all these fun projects that I've been working on with you for the last few weeks actually. These are all these clips I got at Target. So I'm gonna just stick those aside. I pulled out the one that I'm gonna to use today already. And also, so we did this cute little crate. This was one thing and I found at Target, again, these were very inexpensive people. Great little deals to go in your little crate. Um, these are Jelly Bellies. They were probably a dollar. I did not spend much on any of the, I, these items. So that is something that you can put in your crate when you make your crate, when you come. Some things I'm going to make ahead of time. The penguin is actually going to be a little gift for the people who come. So when you come to my spot here at the Crow Cottage, you'll have your place all ready to go and work. I'll have your paper ready on the table where we're working and you will have this cute, <laughs> once we get him put together, you'll see how cute he is, this cute little penguin at your spot, ready to clip onto a little bag. This is a tag actually. So this is one of the tags we'll be doing, or I'll be doing actually. I'm gonna just do this one ahead of time for everybody because it's real simple. We're gonna go through it really quick today. I, I think you'll be surprised at how fast that goes. And it's so easy to cut out. You really, you just need a, a hole punch. The little nose is the tricky part. So that's something that you should probably just order as a kit from me. You can order kits from me if you go on um, squareup.com. Uh, 
uh, if you find, let's just write this down if I can find my brighter pen. If you go to, um, it's, um, let's see, I believe it's HTTPS colon slash slash, but no www square up dot com slash store slash Kathy. You have to have these hyphens in here. Crows hyphen cards. Oops, can't quite fit that on. But anyway, if you go to this website on there, you can order kit my kits. I'm going to put these on as kits because some of the things that I make, you might want to make a few of them. Um, many people who order don't want to, to make anything, and that's fine. You can just order things that are made. That stuff, you can easily see what that is. But I'm gonna put some items on like this that you could order a, a pack of 10, you know, for a reasonable price, but then you would have to put it together, but the little nose would already be cut out for you, so that could be quite handy. The other thing that, we've, that we are doing at our my class is this cute little lip balm holder. Uh, they, I also, we also worked on this little apron box, and I need to tie on the the top. I put a little box of of cocoa crispies and cocoa mix in here, and I found I've, I'm actually saving this for a laser. Uh, and Amer can have one too, because I, I got it came in a pack of two. But first of all, since Eliza is older and she's our little granddaughter, this little crow spoon is hers. But I'm saving it here for her. <laughs> I'm not really going to give this box away with the spoon. But I just thought I would show you that when you when you gift your little apron box, you should probably fasten a little a little something at the top just to dress it up a little bit. Let me see here. If I can get my spoon in here. The crow's gonna hold it on nicely. Because actually, if you go online, I, I believe I got these on Amazon. These, this, the crow's tail, actually it's just a little bird, but I'm going to call it a crow. The little bird or crow's tail, it hooks over your spoon, so it, he, he has a spoon rest built in. I don't know if his beak works the same way, but his tail does. So you would just tie your, your spoon, or if you had some, uh, oh, what would you wanna put with? Well, if you do other mixes, you might wanna do different kinds of mixes in here, and then you could attach a little spreader, a spreader, or a spatula, little tiny whisk. Oh, there's, if, if you go down to the Bed Bath & Beyond or someplace like that, they have so many little things that you could attach here that would be so cute. So that is that box and that. And then we also did this coffee cup box and I've got my cocoa in here and a little straw. A, a fancy swirly straw from the dollar store would be perfect but I did not have one and I'm going to do something else probably with that when I actually give it away. And then we also have our little candy cane holder. Depending on how much time our class is going to have to put all these things together because I still do have one other item. This was the little set Santa candy holder and um and he's on a little spring although my spring i had two springs on and it's kind of lost its springiness because i moved him so that his his feet would be down here when he's standing upright he <laughs> he actually does wiggle pretty good but i've i can fix him he's easy to fix and then the um little gift your gift card can slide in here i actually have a a little gift card that you slide in here for your your gift recipient you can put a card or just a note you know what whatever you want to do so these are all the projects you'll be making when you come Friday and Saturday at 10 a.m. but you do have to register I can't have all these things ready for you to make if you don't register in advance so please just message me so that I know you want to come and I'll send you uh, this square up link. If you, uh, if you don't 
and want to message me and you just want to register, you can. You just go to this website, the square up dot com store slash etc you go to this you click on the link that says um the workshop for december 8th there are there are many options so hopefully you figure that out and if not you can message me i'm always available so this little penguin when i cut him out on my cutting machine he just has all these little parts and you have to figure out well what part is going to go where but i believe this is gonna go here. So I'm going to grab some adhesive and I've got it all labeled because I always forget which side the adhesive goes. This is this side up, pull toward me. Well, we'll see because I have a lot, of, this is fast fuse and I've had very mixed, mixed luck with fast fuse. I don't usually use this because I certainly can't have my people at the workshop using it because it's just so un not user friendly i don't know what's wrong with it i'm not even ha i thought i had it all set up and ready to go and i'm still having trouble with it so fast fuse no we're not doing that but i uh, i do have some snail adhesive it works much much better but i have to do the same thing with it and look and see well which way does it go so i've got that my little flippy thing goes down there's a little cover, which is nice. The Fast Fuse does not have a cover either, which make, is part of the reason it doesn't work so well because it's little glue stuff starts sticking to the sides. This one has a cover, but the cover goes down and clicks so it stops. It's still on a principle of moving the tape toward me. See how much nicer that works? Ah, I just don't know what the deal is with that um, Fast Fuse. It's, it's difficult. All right, so the thing about the penguins is you want to make sure he's lined up right. So you can see the the black around around the the orange. But really basically, it's just after you get the orange on, you just want to line up the eyes. If you just line up the eyes, you're all set to go. So we'll just put some more tape on him. We'll put this black one on. He's pretty cute, don't you think? I yeah, This weekend, I went and got my lights up. Well, actually, did I do it on Friday? I think so, Friday. And, of course, I ran out of lights. Uh, they never, there's just on the side, one side. I needed just a few more, and that was because one string had decided to not work. And then I went down and, and was surprised how much lights have gone up since I bought them last. <laughs> and bought some that were on sale when I got home, though I found out they were netted. They were netted. <laughs> they were the netted kind, which I've wanted, but um, not for the maple trees where you have nice slender trunks and you want to wrap them around. So I just threw them up and tried to move them around and wrap them. And I tried everything. When Jeff saw them, he said, oh, it looks like the you sneeze the lights on the tree they look pretty bad and well, he didn't say they look pretty bad but I said they look pretty bad they're pretty it, it's fine when the lights are on oh this is so hard to see hold on here <laughs> I know he's got eyes there they're just very hard to see because it's also black there okay so you just get him on there he's done wasn't that fast and easy okay now you're going I'm gonna put a little stampin spot these our little ink spot so when I give this to some happy stamper they get to have a little stamp spot but I'm I need to attach I need to attach this with probably some stronger let's do these mini glue dot, dots this should be strong enough to work all right now this next month, um, Stampin' Up! is going to have a new catalog called Occasions. It only is out, Occasions is out until, I guess it, I think it actually is out until the end of the, until the new catalog, the whole new catalog comes out. Um, it is, it, I've already seen some of the stamps in it and they're really cute. There's gonna, there's, oh, the stamps, the thins, there's just tons of really neat things in the Occasions catalog. 
So you should call, message me and set up a class with me so that you can get some of those items. You can just order them off of my store, that's fine too, but it's more fun to do it as a workshop, and especially if you wanna do it with your own friends and you don't wanna necessarily come to my house, you can do it at your house as long as you live in <laughs> fairly close to me. It's gonna be tough for me to go all the way to Wisconsin for it, but... Um, Shoot, if I had a big enough party to go to Wisconsin to do it, I, I could probably do it. Okay, so I think this is going to stick on there beautifully. See how nice that is? And then his little paws are going to need to stay pretty good too. Because whoever gets this, they are unfortunately going to ruin their little snow, their little penguin getting their stamp and spot off. But they won't care whoever it is. They will, they will want it. And then they can always come and make another one. But how how cute is that sweet I could tie a little I I was going to put um, a little candy in his paw instead of this stamp and spot but uh, and if I had done that then I could have tied a little ribbon around it but instead I'm going to be putting this clip on the back and with that I think I will go ahead and just do a few more of these these are kind of small glue dots, but this clip is actually kind of cute. So I think I want to make sure I, I, I put it on this way and then I can write on the back. Whoever gets this, I'm actually making this for my class. So hmm, I know one person who's going to be getting this and I know she's going to enjoy it. And I'm hoping somebody else decides to show up. I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? And then another thing about um, Stampin' Up's um, selling policy is that I need to make sure you know that all the holiday items in the holiday catalog, not the regular big catalog, but the holiday catalog, those things might all go away because the catalog ends at the end of this, I think it's January 2 or 5, one of those. They stop selling all of that stuff, and it won't be available if you go on eBay to buy it after they discontinued it. It's always tremendously expensive, so please do not wait. If there's something you want, you need to order it now. Isn't he cute? I love that. That's going to be so much fun. Okay, so I think that's all I'm doing today. That was pretty quick and simple, but I need to swing the camera up, and let's see if it swings without disconnecting me. <laughs> Yay, it worked. Okay, so I need to look at my list really quick just to see if I missed something because... Um, the, yeah, those there there are those snowflakes. Oh, I should have done a tag with the snowflakes because I'm going to do a tag and I should have done it right now. But that the snowflakes thinlets are the most beautiful thinlets that you'll ever find. I went on Sizzix. Sizzix is the company that makes these thinlets for Stampin' Up! And I went on their website to see if they had other ones to coordinate with them because I love them so much. I just thought, I'll bet they have some other ones that are similar. And then when I'm rolling it through my machine, I can put more on and get more done at one time. And I do have to say that there are other snowflake thinlets don't even come close to as nice as these are. So if you want to have cut out, perfectly cut out snowflakes, you got to get them this month. They will not be available necessarily after January 2 or 5. I forget which one it is. So I, it's possible they might be in the new catalog when it comes out, but I, I wouldn't count on it. Everything I always want, it's always gone. And then um, I think that's it. Just be sure you register me if you want to come. Share so you get entered in to, for a drawing. You can call me anytime if you want to do some other kind of thing. I think next month we might do a scrapbooking event. And um, looks like everybody was gone today, but that's okay. I had fun. You have a great week. It's foggy here, but I'm hoping the sun comes out. I got two bike rides at, in last week and maybe another one this week. I hope so. It's been fun. And you have a great Christmas. I, In, in case you don't see me before then, <laughs> have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye.